It started with a big bang. The Origin of Earth, You, and Everything Else by Floor Ball and Sebastian Van Dominant. For David and Ella, because children's stories begin with children's questions. This is our Earth. We live on a bright blue ball floating in space. Our planet is full of humans, animals, and plants, and we all live together in a big tangled web. It hasn't always looked like that. This is what the universe looked like a long time ago, long before we were here. There's nothing. See? Nothing. No earth, no sky, no darkness, and no light. Well, not exactly nothing. In all that nothing, there's one small something. A seed that will grow into everything else. It's a tiny, hot, dot that holds the entire universe inside. And just like that, the tiny hot dot explodes with a big bang. But it isn't really a bang because there's no sound. The universe is silent. The dot blows itself up like a bubble, and the sp but the space inside is still empty. Now it's time for the universe to fill up. Here is the universe. Look how much is happening. Stars, moons, and, sp uh, and suns are all spinning all around. Nothing stays the same because everything is moving all the time. Sometimes stars even explode. The explosions leave gas and stardust behind and pieces of ice and rock too. They go soaring through space in every direction. Near the sun, some of the gas, stardust, and rocks stick together, forming a ball. The ball grows bigger and bigger until it is a small planet. Planet Earth. Chunks of ice and rock keep raining down. When one of them crashes into the Earth, a piece of the ball breaks off. That small piece of the ball becomes Earth's moon. At first, our planet, our ball planet, is so hot that water turns into gas. Some of the rock melts, creating a core of molten heat at the center of the ball. Over millions of years, Earth cools down, and a hard crust of rock forms around the hot core. Slowly, Earth reaches the perfect temperature for water to remain water, and form things like Diddy Kong here. Say hi. Say hi, hi. Say hi, hi. <laughs> okay, Diddy, you go over here. Sorry. Interrupting the formation of the planet Earth. That's how this planet becomes Earth. The sun's shining, and the moon is set in the sky. It's time for something to grow down below. This is Earth. It has seas and volcanoes, even underwater volcanoes. The rest of the planet is empty. Water covers most of the earth. Strong winds blow, and huge waves crash on rocky islands. This is no place for something to live. But then, something does come to life. Something that likes rough waters. It's almost impossible to see. It has no head, no eyes, and no legs, but it exists. Then one becomes two, and two become many. This little bit of life changes and adapts. It becomes the green seaweed in the water, the sponges in the sea, and the moss on the rocks. Earth keeps changing, too. The land is still bare, but the sea is full of life and it's about to get more crowded. This is the ocean, a very big sea. Many fish and animals live here together. They all want the same thing, to eat 
and not be eaten. There's plenty of food for the small fish, and as for the big fish, they eat the small fish. Sometimes one fish has special offspring, babies that can bite extra hard and have, or, or that have strong fins, almost like legs. Those babies are lucky enough to eat more and escape being eaten. Special offspring live longer so they can have many more babies. Sometimes those babies have the same luck. They live longer too, and so do their offspring and their offspring's babies. The entire family adapts and a new species develops. Slowly, generation by generation, many of the animals in the ocean change. Some fish even develop real legs. The ocean is full, but the land is empty. The fish with legs can see land from the water. They're ready to take their first steps. This is land. Trees and plants grow, and animals live here too. Some stay small, but others grow big. Some become the biggest animals ever, dinosaurs. A dinosaur's toe is as big as a turtle. Reptiles and bees fly through the sky. Starfish share the ocean with giant sharks. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's freezing cold. In some places it rains, but in others it's dry. No matter what, the animals find food. They eat plants and one another. It's a big tangled web. But suddenly, a giant rock crashes down from the sky. Bang! After the impact, gigantic dust clouds cover the sun. Everything is dark and cold. Hardly any plants survive. Only the small animals can find food to stay alive. Tough break for the dinosaurs. Their time is up. Now, what will live on Earth? This is Earth millions of years later. The dust clouds have cleared and the sun shines. Trees, plants, grass. The big tangled web is alive and growing. New animals live here, including a kind of ape. Some of these apes leave the forest to live on wide grassy plains. They spend a lot of time searching for food, so walking on all fours isn't practical anymore. The apes adapt very slowly, but eventually, they begin to walk upright on two legs. They eat plants and they eat meat too. They make tools out of stone, knives and axes for hunting, and they make fire to cook the animals they catch. Eating cooked meat and thinking hard to create tools makes their brain grow bigger, so they get even smarter. Their paws become hands and feet. They lose most of the fur on their bodies. These apes are smart enough to make plans and solve problems. They can even talk and draw. Now they've become a new species in the ape family, humans. It's time for something completely different. This is the new world humans are building. They travel all over, searching for places to live and make a home. They harvest plants and raise animals. Humans keep learning. They invent the wheel and the cart so they can travel even farther. They develop a written alphabet so they can learn to read, write, and share what they know with others. After many years of traveling, inventing, and building, humans now live all over. They live close to one another in cities or far from one another on farms and islands. In all these places, they build roads, Bridges and homes are everywhere. Humans can do more than they ever dreamed possible. They dig up dinosaur bones and dive to the bottom of the deepest ocean. They even fly to the moon in rockets and wave to the people back on Earth. This is Earth, a bright blue ball floating in space. We live here in a big tangled web. Humans animals and plants living together, and it all started with a big bang. A couple of minor scientific notes I wanted to point out. 
this point where there's nothing and then there's space and there's something? Well, there was kind of something here at the beginning too. There was energy. That's why it was hot. There was so much energy. But then the energy actually, as it cooled, came kind of formed into matter, into stuff. And that's how all of this stuff happened. <laughs> Sorry, I, there was something else that I noticed that I wanted to point out. Oh, uh, biggest animals ever? Actually, that's not true. The blue whale is bigger than any of the dinosaurs that, well, that we know about. Of course, we're looking at a fossils that we don't have all of because many of them were destroyed and oh there was one other thing oh dinosaurs their time is up well, that's not entirely true other uh, either there's one branch of the dinosaur tree that survived and is still alive today and you have almost certainly seen and probably heard one but i'll leave that for you to figure out that was it started with a big bang. The Origin of Earth, You, and Everything Else by Floor Ball and Sebastian Van Donink. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, lessons, and books. And if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments or send us a message on the channel. Thanks.